guys, it's Nikki, and Joey and I just moved around the entire office, so I thought that it would be a good time to do an office tour because I can't remember the last time that it was actually this clean. So I'm going to give you guys kind of like an overview of the room, and then I will get into everything. So I'm going to go ahead and start right here. So right here is just a bookshelf. I'm going to try to step backwards. You guys can maybe try to see something. There's a lamp in the way. I'm having to hold the camera weird, so sorry, guys. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get into what is in here. So on the top shelf, I do keep all of my planners, um, Kiki K's, I've got my Kate Spade up here, a happy planner, a day designer, and then these are all just random. Um, I think some of these are from the sugar paper line for Target, and then some of them are just notebooks. So underneath that is all of my sticker storage. So I have done videos on these and how I organize all of my stickers. Um, and you guys can see it has grown. There's, there's too many stickers, but that's okay. Underneath that is, let's see here, I've got this thing right here that I have my washi tape on. Um, just in these two guys, here is a random planner band. And then I do have these acrylic drawers, so in the top is all planner clips and just some random washi. The second drawer is just stuff that I cannot fit in the, um, the binders. So I do have some stuff from Odd Loop, and then I believe this drawer is that as well, yes. I have some stuff from Let's Make It Sparkle, Pookie Bear Cuties, Hello Emiko, just things that won't fit in those binders. And then the last drawer, I have a stamp set that I picked up at PlannerCon, as well as like some random sheets that I might still use some of the stuff that's on them, so I don't want to throw them out. And then next to that is, let's see, Baymax and this little cat that my mom brought back from Japan. And then down here, we have just stuffed animals and Tsum Tsums. Joey and I do like to collect um, the little Tsum Tsums and some of the little stuffed things when we go places. So that is everything that is on the bookshelf. And then this over here is Joey's area. Um, so I don't like it. It throws off my whole Apple vibe. Everything else in this room, in this whole house, I should say, I feel like is all Apple products. And then this computer just like, it throws off everything. Um, so we've got a lamp. We have this little deal right here that measures the um, the packages for stickers, tells how much things weigh. Uh, he has some speakers. He has this stupid box. This is some wrestling thing. These three guys are like WWE or something. And then let's see, just computer and some random book and Walter White. So next to Joey's desk, because he does pack the orders, I have this thing right here that I show pictures of quite often. Um, this did just get moved so you guys can see everything like slid into the back so I do need to fix that. And then right here we have the label printer and then the invoice printer. So a little bit back one of my printers well yeah one of my printers died for like the fourth time and I went out and I bought a ton of printers because I just wanted to test things and see if there was anything better than the one that I'm using because it does keep dying. Um, and basically a couple of these I wasn't able to return so I ended up keeping them so this one is the Ec or the what is this Epson eco tank and it has these really cool little things that you fill up the ink in but I don't like the print quality on it so we keep the invoice paper in this one and then I did also try this Canon um, I wasn't a fan of the way that it printed either but we ended up keeping it and this one just holds the label paper down in that tray so underneath that is this guy right here and I will link this um, a lot of people ask me about this so I will try to link everything down below. Let me get on the floor. So you guys can see, this is where all of the kits are kept. So we just kind of stack them in there. Everything is a little bit low right now because I have reformatted things. So as these are selling out, they're being reformatted and then put back into the shop. Um, and you can see over here are a couple of the newly formatted kits. And I actually had to remove some of the, the dividers in order to fit the amount that I'm doing. So I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna be trying to find a new system here shortly to, oops, sorry guys, to be able to fit more in here. So I'm not too sure yet what I wanna do, still working on it, but that is that. And underneath that, I have a couple of these like short fat Alex drawers. I do have the tall ones, but I ended up moving those into my bedroom. They weren't really necessary in here anymore. So let's see, in the top one we have cello and some freebies. And then we have, let's see, label paper and invoice paper. And then we have the oops drawer, some random filing stuff, um, a couple of mailers. We don't actually keep them over here. And then that one's just empty. And then over here is empty. Um, this is my random like Christmas drawer. It's all Christmas stuff. And then we have a 
uh, what is that? A paper trimmer, which I don't really ever use. I was going to try to do that, but I'm not a fan of the way, oops, the way that it works. So, uh, we have more random papers and filing stuff. And then we have our magic vans, some DVC stuff. And then this one is actually kind of stuck. So I do keep random boxes. Like there's a MacBook box in here and my Fitbit box. The iPad box is back there somewhere. So I do keep those just in case. So the next area is this desk right here. And you guys, I'm sorry about the cords. I'm trying to figure out a way that we can somehow hide these, but it just doesn't seem possible. So I do have a huge filing tub right here. Um, this is when the sheets were offered a la carte. You guys can see the names on the top. Um, we're not doing that anymore, so I'm not too sure what this is going to be used for. And then I do have this kind of like flimsier um, filing thing right here that just has random stuff in it right now. It's got some coloring books. And then this desk right here, random D stash bags, and we have my MacBook as well as the iPad Pro is over here. And then just my water cup because I was sitting here um, getting ready to edit some stuff. And then let me see. So I do have the printer blocked off, the one that I actually use, and then the other one isn't actually in here. So I did just put some stuff over there to block it because I can't show you guys that. So underneath it though is the portraits. So I keep four of them in here, and then I have one over to the left that I'll show you guys in just a second. Um, and then I have a couple more, and also I'm going to be setting up a few cameos. I have like three random cameos. Um, so those are going to be set up over here so that those can be used as well. So I will try to find the name of this. This piece is from Ikea, and these do fit in here pretty nicely. And then let's see. Down in the bottom, we have blades, mats, and random cords. Um, the second drawer is all ink, so I can't show you guys that. And then in the bottom, I keep the gold bubble mailers, and these are just for orders that are too big to fit in the rigid mailers. And then this area over here is all my area, this whole side of the wall. So this right here is my desk, and then over here is my filming area. So, oh, sorry guys, I'm going to walk you guys through over here. So I do have my iMac, and then I do have, let's see, these acrylic drawers right here that have... What is this? This is all Oops stuff. So I generally, if I'm sitting here cutting, will throw Oops things into here and then I'll transfer it over to the drawer that I just showed you guys. And I'm pretty sure the second one is Oops as well, yeah. Um, but I do keep it because I do like to have my iMac like elevated that way. Uh, we have a little speaker, keyboard, um, mouse. Uh, I do have a second phone. I keep two phones. So I keep that one plugged in over there. I do use that one for like Rhapsody. And then up here we have, let's see, we have a lamp. Um, this is everything that needs to be cut for that day. Um, and then always the printer is going, you guys know that. And then I have, let's see, just some paper clips, a ton of pens, scissors, highlighters, pencils. Um, we've got lip balm, just random stuff all in these drawers. And then, not drawers, what am I talking about? Buckets, they aren't really buckets either. Um, most of this is all from the dollar spot. I just grab these when they've got them and then I've got like a mason jar from the dollar spot and then these little guys right here. So right here I do have one more portrait and I do have another one that goes down there but it is not working right now. So let's see. Over here is random sheets. Um, a lot of the times when I'm cutting things will mess up and then I have an off count so these just need to be matched up. So I just need to go back in and print the pages that these are mis missing and put those together. And then over here is, let's see, I have my Louie, I have my horizontal Erin Condren, and I have my vertical Erin Condren, and then I just have my sugar paper pad over here. So in between these two desks, and I don't know where this is going to go, but this is the Roscog cart that is full of stuff. Um, so what I showed you over there actually just got pulled out of the top right here of it. And then everything in here is pretty much Target related up top, so we just have notepads and page flags, sticky notes. Um, these are the sheets that I use to put into those mini binders to hold stickers and then I've got some pictures here that I need to put up. So that is the top and then in the second row I've got just kind of random things. These are all journaling cards and little cardstock things. I have a random Hello Kitty Uno game and then let's see. The bottom is actually for the most part all thank you cards. So I, I used to do handwritten thank you cards. I'm not able to do that anymore, obviously, so those just stay there. I do sometimes send them out. Um, if a friend of mine orders or if it's somebody that I know, I want to write a quick little note, I just reach over and grab one. Um, this is, what is this? Oh, this is just a camera manual, and then over here I do have some little sticker books from Michaels and Target, 
And then over here is all cardstock pads that I don't know why I have all of these because I never use them. But um, when Allie was over here, Allie actually like got into these and made like all kinds of cool stuff. So I guess I'll keep them just for when Allie comes over. Um, she made me a really neat little like bookmark to put in my planner. I was pretty excited about it. So over here is just a random thing of paper. I do try to keep something next to me because the printer is always going. And then this is my filming area. So I do have these two um, big lights. I will link those below. Those are from Amazon. And then I do have this tripod right here. That is not the wonky tripod. That's the newer one. And it's okay, I guess. Um, and then behind it, I do have a piece of white foam board. Um, I use that to bounce the light off when I am doing stuff down here, like for pictures, it's not really necessary for videos, but for pictures, I do use that. And then I do have a couple more down there that I put on the other side so that I can bounce light back and forth. Um, if that makes any sense, because generally in the shop, I use this white background. And the only way to get the pictures to come out like super, super white without a weird tint to them is to use those white foam boards and actually bounce the light back and forth, if that makes any sense at all. Um, so I do have my vinyl just kind of underneath each other up top. And then under here, I do have some more vinyl. These are those smaller white foam boards. And then I do just have some more vinyl down here. And I just keep it under there so that I can pull from it whenever I need to. And again, you guys, sorry about the cords everywhere, but there's really nowhere else for me to put them. Okay, so the next thing over here is the closet. So this is all storage. Um, so over here to the left, this is all matte paper. That blue thing holds receipts as well as just random stuff. I see some card stock in it. And then I have some mailers right here. I actually need to reorder those. I'm running really, really low. Um, I've got some bags over there on top of that that I just throw the orders in when we're going to the post office to carry them out the door in. And then let's see, I've got uh, the other portrait up there. And then I have one cameo there, and then I have two or three other cameos somewhere else in this house. Um, and then I've got the Target just buckets from the dollar spot up top that I kind of just put things in. So let me go and swing this door the other way. It's about all I'm going to be able to get into it. So let's see, broken printer. This is the paper that we use for invoices. That is matte removable. That is our premium matte. Um, what did I want to say? A lot of people had been asking me questions about, is it vinyl? And to me, I think it's vinyl because it's definitely not just regular paper, but it is not like, who are they saying? It's not like Libby and Co's vinyl. It's not thick. Um, it's not like that pool floaty smelling vinyl, if that makes sense. Um, so a lot of people were confused about it. So I'm no longer saying that it's a vinyl paper. I personally think that it's like at least vinyl based, but um, it is way, way softer. It's really flexible, unlike those other papers that are like that hard vinyl. Um, anyway, sorry, rant over. And then over here is the glossy paper. These right here are just a couple of little lights that I got at Ikea that kind of clipped to the side that I have been using for the portraits. These are portrait tops because I do take those off. This is all black ink. Um, and then I did move the other ink because I can't show you guys that. And then let's see, this is the wonky tripod. So it's just kind of hanging here sad and hopeless um let's see here this is just a apple router and then whoo and then this is all of my stickers so i've mentioned before when i take pictures to put into the shop i don't ever sell those i have no idea why but i just i throw them in here instead and i just keep them um this whole storage thing this metal thing is from ikea so i will try to find that and link that below for you guys and then up top we just have a bible and then we have random stuff in buckets, all my DVC stuff, and then more random stuff in buckets. So that is the office tour, everybody. I'm going to go stand over here. Um, so if there's anything in this video that I did not talk about, I didn't say where it was from, or if you guys have any questions, just leave me a comment below and I will go back in and try to answer any of those. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.